Hi, Sylvia. Let's take a look at your latest set of essays. This one is about online communication overtaking face-to-face -face meetings. Let's see what you wrote. Nowadays, it is often argued whether if the change from face-to-face -face meetings to their online version is beneficial or not. All right, we have to change the grammar here. Nowadays, it is often argued you you can't use both. It's either whether or if. So it is often argued whether the change from face-to-face -face meetings to their online version is beneficial or not. And that's perfect. Personally, while I believe that personal interactions are important, I consider the benefits of online community. Mm, not that. You can't use that like this. I consider, actually, maybe even consider is the wrong word. You wanted to say here, I believe the benefits of online communication outweigh the disadvantages. This essay will argue this using examples from Harvard University to demonstrate points and prove arguments. Okay, other than those little errors with the if and with the consider that, this is lovely. It's really nicely done. Your position is clear. You've restated. It's, it's a well-executed um, introduction. So let's go on. On the one hand, in-person communication has a benefit that cannot be achieved any other way. When people work together, it is easier to bond and create a closer, more comfortable workspace between teammates. It allows better, dis better discussions, improving the overall atmosphere of the workplace. Recent empirical research by Harvard University demonstrated that 70% of employees do not believe they can create close relationships with their coworkers if they never see them in real life. Thus, it is possible to state that face-to-face -face communication in the workplace is key when developing relationships. All right, this is lovely. Um, we're going to talk about this a little more uh, when we finish, okay? Let's just keep going, and I'll tell you what my thoughts are about that. On the other hand, the impact of, you're missing an of here, working online, cannot be overstated without this has. The central reason behind this is twofold. Firstly, it is more convenient and less time consuming, which allows an improved time, not and, get rid of and, which allows improved time management both during working hours and out of them. Secondly, it is more affordable since workers do not need to spend money on transportation while the employers can invest in smaller offices. Careful with your typing. This has also been studied by Harvard University, proving that 85% of online workers prefer working from home since they reduce the time and money spent to the T here when commuting, which also allows them to spend more quality time with their families. Therefore, it is conclusively clear that communicating online has a superior number of advantages. Fine. Okay. From the arguments and examples given, I firmly believe that although online communication can have some disadvantages regarding the office member's closeness, you wanted an apostrophe after that S. The benefits clearly outweigh that. It is predicted that remote communication will continue to grow in importance through, during the following years. Okay, so let me tell you what my concern was. So let's just go back up here for a minute. Online communication is more common than face-to-face -face meetings. All right, so you're supposed to talk about the advantage of this trend, which you did here. And then you're also supposed to talk about the disadvantages of this trend. Did you talk about the disadvantages of online communication? Not entirely. What you did instead is you talked about the advantages of face-to-face -face meetings. And that's not what they asked you to talk about. Okay. So... When you talk about the advantages of face-to-face -face meetings, maybe indirectly you're talking about the disadvantages of online communication, but not 100%, not really. It's kind of a stretch. So um, an examiner might look at this and say, eh, it's slightly off topic. I don't want to know what the benefits of face-to-face of -face communication are. I want to know what the downsides of online communication are. They're not necessarily one and the same. Okay, so um, that's why I'm telling you that it's kind of off topic. And that's something you really, really, really have to be careful of. Okay, so yes, it is a good idea to make comparisons between online communication and face-to-face -face meetings when you're writing this kind of an essay. 
but make sure you're not talking about the wrong thing here, okay? So that for me is the biggest error, the biggest weakness with this essay. Um, other than that, I thought you did a lovely job. Let's take a look now at the uh, school subjects in Germany. I'm curious about this. Um, I know you did over 150 words. Let me see. You actually wrote quite a bit, which is, is interesting because most people have a real, um, they have a hard time doing that. And so I'm curious how many words you wrote. All right, 167. So it wasn't really, really huge, but it was interesting. It looked really uh, rather long to me. And so I was curious how many words you wrote. Okay. So the pie chart illustrates the popularity of seven different school subjects in Germany during 2017. Fine. It can be seen that the clear favorite was PE with a popularity rate nearly reaching 23%. This subject's popularity was closely followed by history with 22.4. After them, the percentages fell slightly. The most popular subjects were math and physics with 19.5 and 18.1, respectively. It is then when the popularity percentages sinked greatly, leaving biology and geography with 7.1 and 6.4 each, both really close in popularity. The least popular subject out of all, out of all the listed ones was IT, with a popularity rate of 3.7. A clear distinction is portrayed between the first four subjects, which all have percentages over 18%, and the remaining three not even reaching 8%. Good. Overall, there was a sorry, there was a drastic decrease of popularity when comparing the most and least popular subjects. PE was the most popular, whereas IT had the lowest popularity rate out of all the studied set options with a difference of 19.2 between them. Okay, this is lovely. This is really good. Um, this one is very difficult to do because there's so little information and so you really have to kind of stretch it out. And I was concerned that you weren't going to, but then you had this sentence here, which was a really nice job of wrapping everything together. And I liked your overview as well. I thought you did a nice job there. So I don't really have a lot to say about this. I thought you did really well. Um, as you know, there is no word minimum anymore in IELTS, so that all that stuff about 150 or 250 words, it's not entirely true. Um, but it's just a general guideline that it's going to be very, very difficult to get a good score in task achievement if your answer is not at least 150 words. That's why I was checking. Um, and this one is tricky to get the 150 word uh, mark. So I was curious, but you know, you did a very good job of that. Um, so go ahead and correct these, return them back to us corrected, um, and let's see more work from you, okay? Keep at it, you're doing great.